Oh my god. <laughs> Look. Hey. Like them? I did. It'd be awesome for them hybrids. But uh, the uh, striper rods, you know how the catfish butts are longer? On the, yeah. On the They're not as long. Ugly stick. They're all long now. If he had a four stroke, he wouldn't have to do this right now. Okay, so Ryan just got this today at Bass Pro. This thing was a hundred and what'd you say it was? Hundred thirty nine dollars. Hundred and thirty nine. But the the factory maps on his graphs sucked. He got this so he could see the contours. And on my Gen One, you could see the contours pretty good. And he just popped this card in, and it is awesome. Loving it, man. Yes, sir. I'm as ready as I'm going to be. Nightlight. All right, first thing we're going to do is put lights out. It's probably going to take about 30, 45 minutes, and we should have enough perch to throw the cast net. On a new moon, it does not take as long. The plankton doesn't have to compete with the moon to draw the plankton in. Hey. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Now that is a haul, bro. Hybrids in the crap, you'll have to go back. But we get to keep the perch, and that's what we want. Good job, fella. All right, Ryan, show us how you snail a hook, guy. Okay. Hold the hook. I'm right-handed, so I hold the hook with my left hand. Point facing down. The eye of the hook facing to your right. Take your tag in. You go through the eyelet of the hook, and with your left hand, about an inch of tag, you pinch the shank of the hook and your tag in together. Then you take your main line coming out of the other side of the eye and going clockwise, start wrapping about seven or eight times. Not overlapping each other, but keeping your loops side by side. Three, four, five, six, seven. Now, since you have this wrapped, you can let go of your tag in now basically hold the uh, loops that you just made. Take your main line in and with the point of the hook still facing down, go with your other end through your eye back towards the tip of the hook. Pull it tight. So now when you go through that way, the um, main line is coming on through the eyelet on the tip side, the sharp end of the hook. She's ready to rock. Bait he was trying to eat. My 
got that hook you were wearing, though, don't mm -hmm. you? You got it? Yeah. Nice and guy. Mm -hmm. Neat thing about the catfish or the flathead is they got camouflage. You want to give me a release any? Sure. You You're not going to keep any to eat? I don't really think he's going to have a whole lot on him, is he? Nah. Yes, I love flathead. Smaller, not small, smaller than that. Flathead or bully? did all right tonight we caught a bunch of small ones um, the fish will start to get bigger as the summer progress well, as it turns into summer it's still spring technically water temps in the 80s but uh, they're spawning and the bites slow we uh, we we fished hard tonight but the bite will start to get better we'll start to catch some bigger fish later on the, some of the biggest fish we've flatheads we've caught has been in uh, has came in July so it's already June 9th so that's just right around the corner so uh, just uh, hang in there and the fish will get bigger and uh, we'll start putting some bigger fish in the boat for you but, uh, anyways thanks for watching and remember keep going <laughs>